All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on this Wednesday, October 23rd. How's everybody doing this morning? Good to see you all. Grant, good to see you. Mark, good to see you. Michael, Brian, Lita, good to see you. Taha, good to see you. Kent, everyone. Grant, everybody. All right, good. Let's get started, guys. So yesterday looked like a little pretty exciting day. Um, sorry I wasn't here. I missed yesterday, you know, being on the NASDAQ by the um, at the Market Center. It was a great experience, and uh, it was nice doing, doing a nice little presentation to them. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about it regarding about the total view. They were kind of shocked. Was, you know, here they are. This is what they're known for, and they're like, they, they rarely ever promote it, and they really want to realize the value of the traders. But uh, I will be emailing everybody that video uh, when they broadcast it on their website. In the meantime, I know I missed a couple of things running in the afternoon, unfortunately. But you know what? You see – that's the good thing about trading. If you made your money in the morning and something runs in the afternoon, big deal. You know, it, it's fine. These things happen. So uh, you, you can always, tomorrow's always another day. You know what the worst thing about trading is that when you're not disciplined enough and you don't want to take a loss and you hold that position overnight and that loss, you know, ends up becoming something like, R E Z I. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and all of a sudden, bam, here you are, a stock that's down 42%. All right. So um, that's what we don't want. But let's talk about some of the things that you guys did trade yesterday. And then we'll go through the watch list. Uh, but this stock looks pretty interesting. Uh, want to talk a little bit about that, though. But um, I know classes um, are going to be starting all over again this morning. You got phase one, lesson three and four that's going to be going on. Don't forget, that is the most important important part of your education remember this just pays the bills you can't you can't earn unless you start learn uh you can't earn until you start learning so we'll see you all in that class uh, a couple of stocks that i want to kind of bring up first of all let's talk about the uber trade Okay, so Uber, I heard it had a really nice pop in the middle of the day at 12 o'clock uh, regarding the news that came out with Lyft. So kind of that kind of made a big move on it. Um, you know, I'm still not a fan. You know, it's got resistance levels right around here on 34, which you could see kind of tested it and backed right off again. It's got to break that resistance levels. You know, 28 was a very good buy, but, you know, long term, you know, I'm a fan of Uber, but. If we if we was fan of it when it was at 46, we got crushed already. So you got to keep an eye on that. But it was a great great day trade. The great thing about this whole trade is look at the Fausto flag that was right there. Wasn't that gorgeous? That was so easy. So even if you missed that pop, guess what? If you paid 32, at least went to 33.50. That was pretty nice. Now regarding about the lift trade, uh, what is it? L Y F T. And bring that one too. You can see that one ran from literally forty dollars all the way to forty six, uh, forty five. I'm sorry, forty five. Great, great mover. Great Faustal flags everywhere. But it had to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. Now, um, the funniest thing was this. I was I was in Times Square in Manhattan, and uh, I never saw I never saw work of uh, the stock uh, the company. So uh, I actually just bumped up to it and there it was in right in the middle of Times Square and I'm like oh my god I hear you hear this news on this company which just went public it's not really going too well for this stock and it's a shame but until it listen if it keeps breaking this low it hit that low and it bounced went back to about 26 but I'll be a little cautious regarding about this work trade right here I'm going to put it on the watch list though and see how it trades over the course of the day but as of right now it doesn't look like it's really going anywhere trov there was these are the ones that we traded this morning and they were um here's a stock that gapped up pretty nicely and i don't know what happened but she just had this big pop in the middle of the day you know i was really disappointed in this stock i actually lost money on this trade and you know what it was it just had so many shakes and you know i don't know if i could maybe zoom in over here a little bit better but these shakes right here just totally got me you know got in got out got in. i didn't lose a lot but um you know and listen i do lose money and you learn from it one thing you learn in class you got to be focused on and that's what we're going to cover when you get into my phase three these shakes are very very important i know josh is going to talk about it in phase two a little bit but shakes are very very hard to deal with and when you start dealing with that stuff and you see a stock that pops in right around two o'clock and it goes from a buck 60 to 240 the, the probability of you getting that is not even worth it compared to what happened over here remember we only trade the morning and the late afternoon you know if you hear nothing's going on it's one thing but if you got that trade i know some of you did one thing but you know it wasn't 
it's sometimes it's not worth it. And the same thing with this TTS. This thing got destroyed down about almost 70% yesterday. We got a nice little bounce, but there wasn't that much room here to make money. Then as you obviously you can see it came right back down. But it did have a nice little pop. Another stock had some nasty shakes in it. But um, let me tell you, that's a hell of a haircut. 340 down to a buck, and then it, I mean, it, went, it went up about 30 cents. Could trade several thousand shares of it. You could see here it is about a 99. There's a 30,000 buyer share buyer at 99 cents here on the level three. So it's a it, you know I, I I wouldn't go back to it and say hey you know what uh, maybe it'll bounce today. I would probably pass on it as of right now. And then the snaps, Snapchat reported earnings. So uh, right after the close, things all over the place. Obviously, uh, exciting, this and that. And by the, the, the thing I want to just point out with this one stock is this. This is why I don't like to trade on earnings. If you jumped into the stock and you bought it here at 1440 because you thought it was good news, and then it dropped down to 12, and then you sell it, and then it goes back to 13, and it's just – you got to be careful with these earnings and out. That, that's all program trading, and it's just chaos. Same thing like the first five minutes of the open. So I know some of you looked at it like, what do we do? This not, It's not worth it. You know what? Less risk, more control. Let, let the smoke clear. I, remember, I don't have a problem paying more money for a stock. I'd rather pay more for it, know I'm on the right side, than just sit there and gamble. Gambling is not our forte. All right, so let's look at a couple of stocks that are moving right now. I know uh, Ben's posting up a couple of things on that REZI. Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of big buyers out there. I saw that too. And uh, I'll bring it over here, and you can see it right here. Look at all these buyers out there. Huge buyers, 6,000, 3,000, a lot of iceberg orders. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody's listening to us, but <laughs> this is a stock that I, I kind of liked. It got really, really beat up. Got, these orders been out there for a while. If you go over here, on that's the level four. If you look here on the level three, you know, you're not seeing that big of an order. You see them right here that popping up. It, it did trade 700,000 shares. But um, there is some resistance levels as a sell that's popping up right here. The only thing I don't like about it, there's not like really big iceberg orders like like with 30,000 to 20,000. We're only getting realistically like six, five thousand, 5,000, and uh, that's about it. There's a, there's a, an iceberg order sitting at 990, which would be pretty cool. But anyway, if you jumped in it when we called it out, you should have been in right below around uh, 80, right, I would say. Let me change this time frame over here. Right, that's pretty much when we started when we talked when I brought it up. Yeah, right around here. You can see that. So you should be doing pretty well. All right. That's one stock that's one of my uh favorites in this morning. I know a lot of you guys are looking at iRobot. Now, iRobot, I listen, I don't want to throw my two cents about this company. I don't even understand. I don't get it. I remember I bought it and I returned it. I never thought about shorting the stock, right? Hey, listen, with someone's you know, catastrophes is someone's opportunities, but uh, iRobot's not really doing too well, down 16%. But some of you are trading a pre-market. I did find it at 8 o'clock this morning. It was one on the watch list. If you jumped in at 43, you'd looking pretty damn good right now uh, when it went to 46. You don't got to sell at 46, but if you got out now at 45, you're doing pretty good. So anyway, um, everyone should have got in at least after 44.50 once it broke that resistance not a lot of the big orders out there in level three so that's one thing that i was not too impressed about a little bit riskier you got to be a little bit more advanced to trade that stock nmdm is another one i found this morning that came up on my radar another little bit of an inex inexpensive stock right here one major problem with it why i don't like it look at the level three there is no orders out there what does that tell me? This is not a NASDAQ national stock, which automatically is a scratch, okay? Garbage. So do not trade the stock at all. Remember, we follow orders. We don't follow trends, okay? It's the orders that make the trends. And as of right now, you don't have it with this stock, and we all know it. And you know what's funny? There are a lot of people that like to trade penny stocks, and you don't – stock doesn't have to be under a dollar to make it a penny. I don't know if you guys even know that, all right? So it's just – it's all it's all about uh, rule, you know, the rules that it falls in within the NASDAQ National, small cap, penny stocks, bulletin boards, whatever it is. But I do not trade any of those stocks. To me, that's the wild, wild west. Not that I have nothing against them. It's just that – don't know who's buying and selling it. Next stock that came up, did come up on my little watch list right here is CLF. Mm, good volume. Might can reconsider it right now. I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scratch that one. I don't like it. 
not as likely the other ones. Uh, guess what came out of the, a, a blast from the past? Tank, right? Tank, I heard, did pretty well yesterday. Another one of our swing little trades right there. Had a nice little move right there. Remember Tank? Buck 20 to, two, to, to 225. That stock had done uh, pretty well for us also. So um, that's about it. I mean, not a lot in pre-market as of right now. So listen, we had a phenomenal, phenomenal week last week. And it wasn't even just like one day. It was like five days. And we had stocks. And like I told you, we are going to get those 300 200% winners every day in last week. We got about two or three of them, even one day. It's going to happen someday. And that's when, listen, you got to put in your time. So don't get spoiled. And, uh, you know, and if it's there, it's there. If it's not, you know, there's always things that open up when the market opens up. So check them out. So, but once again, be very careful of this NMDM, even though it's on your big watch list. I think that's about it. I think I got them all. Anything I'm missing, guys, that you think uh, that I should have called out? Neil's up 31 cents in it. Neil, that's great. You know what? You got lucky, okay? That's not the CTU strategy. So if you've made money on it, be happy. Take the money and run. Don't don't mess around, all right? Remember, the big thing that we teach, you know, here is you got to follow the money, just like I went to NASDAQ, you know, talked about uh, how to use total view. And, uh, you know, we need the level three, level four to help us. Once we lose that stuff, we're out of business, okay? All right, anything else, guys, that I did not call out I missed? Look, it's a nice 66,000 share buyer right here at 15. Uh, see you right there, buddy, right on NASDAQ. No 10,000 on ARCA. I might, you know, go throw this one on the watch list. Don't know why there's no data over here on my chart, though. PBBI. We'll see how that works out. Ben's up 50 cents in iRobot. All right. Give him a round of applause. Doing pretty good with that iRobot. A little fast, though. Got to be careful with that trade. A little fast. All right. Oh, PB, uh, PBBI is a buyout. Okay. There you go. I was going to go check really quick on uh, before we start. I was going to do that broadcast. I was going to check on the, on the Benzinga and see what we got going on there. All right. So there's your watch list, guys. Listen, hopefully a lot, we have a lot of new members here. Uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. We tell you this off the bat. Do not trade anything we're trading. Just look, listen, and learn and see if this is for you. And if it's for you, talk to Education Advisor. It'll tell you how we'll teach you how to do it. Hopefully, you can jump into our classes like we're doing today. For everyone else, if you see something, say something. All right? So, um, and remember, there's always a whole new list of stocks that will come up once the market opens up. Just wait for the first five minutes. So, if you're not in anything now, just park it and wait until then. All right? If I see something... Um, I'll share it too also. So we'll start the audio broadcast. Once I'm done with this recording, once I'm done with this pre-market, this, this uh, morning meeting, we'll start uh, audio broadcasting live around at, at 930 when the market opens up. Good luck, everybody. Happy trading.